We are on our way to see the amazing McNutt. McNutt is a unique individual. He will be discussing very important topics with us. Uh, we have no idea what to expect. This is going to be like completely candid. <laughs> candid. I'm sensing a prima donna here. I've met many. There it is. Nice. I like the outfit. Hop on in. You are on candid camera, sir. Well, well, to the left, to the left. To the left. Right here. So yeah. So, who are you? Who am I? Yes. I am he, the chosen one, the fallen angel, watching you. <laughs> Be nutty. Nutty. Nutty, nutty, nutty. The nutty one. Some call me the Hatter, as well. So the Mad Hatter and the Nutty Hatter. Okay. <laughs> Mad Hatter is a close and uh, you know, close. Uh, Cousin on my brother's sister's cousin's uncle's side. <laughs> he got trapped in a fucking beer. I was like, why'd you go into a looking glass? You glass and never heard back. <laughs> Very tired from you know, making hats. <laughs> now I make glass. Looking glasses! Oh I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, yes. Looking for my cousins. <laughs> Stuck in the glass. In the glass. What shade are we talking? Are we talking the blue? Blue. Blue, blue, blue. Blue glass. Blue glass? No. No. Oh. There's bright glass, there's blue glass, there's blue glass. Sorry, I'm thinking no. I'm thinking of another show. Uh, no, I'm not sure you're thinking about. And that's that's bullshit. There is no such thing as blue glass. I didn't think so. And if, if there is, you should not bang it in your veins, snort it up your nose, or smoke it. I am sorry. It'd just be a bad idea. I mean, come on. And if you say it's a bad idea, it's a bad idea. I mean, you know, if I ever came across blue glass, I'd be like, did Smurfs make it? <laughs> did you guys just like drop some Charco Berry Finn Kool-Aid up in that shit? No, I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. No, try it, daddy, try it. No, I don't try nothing. <laughs> I just do. I'm like Yoda, so I just do. There's no try. Where are you? There you see, are. See, I didn't have to, see what I did, see what I did? I didn't have to tell you guys where to go everywhere, did I? No, I didn't. I recognized it on the GPS as like, West White, what, what, what? West what, West what, <laughs> what, West what, then the but, but, but. Now we head to the nummy nummy place. Yeah, food. Food. Daddy, when was the last time we ate? Well, I don't know. Oh, last night. That prostitute. We ate her. No, shut up. <laughs> did we eat that? Did, did you have her rare or did you cook her? Huh? <laughs> no, the only thing that was cooked is a uh, barbecue baby I fed her first. So what's this obsession with barbecued babies? Barbecued babies? Oh, what happened is, uh, once some years ago, a while back, trying to get my cousin, the other hatter, out of the looking glass, I made a deal with one Norse god named Loki. Loki doesn't like ugly babies, because he was an ugly baby, you know, being half frostbite and all. Yeah. So I was like, look, hey, how do I get the other had her back. Look, he said, well, I don't know, but you know, every few months, you give me an offering of barbecued ugly baby, I will bless you. So you can't run around with Loki's blessing and not get something accomplished. 
<laughs> still have the father had her. Stuck in the glass. Uh, you know. You know. Some sweet baby rays. Make a right It's really, side. really good. Sweet baby rays is delicious. It is delicious. Oh, yeah, that's good. Dad. So, you know, makes the ugly ones almost cute. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> But yeah, so now I've become so obsessed with barbecuing babies, and you know, in that offering, right? It's understandable. Blessed by Loki. Mm -hmm. And then Prostitute pussy. Shut up! No, 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 it's not right. Do you ever find babies in dumpsters? Uh, I've not found one yet, but I know someone who has. Yeah, but she found the one <laughs> in a dumpster, actually. Uh, and down towards South County, or Wellish, or something like that, when she was working at one of them, uh, what is it? What is it called? Rest areas. Rest area. She found a baby in the. I was like, ew. Sent me pictures, even. You just said that if they were happy. Whoopsie! Because we're sitting in here. Oh. What else is around here? Oh, there's Mickey D's up the road. Let's Ronald and you. Let's head up there then. Let's head up to Mickey D's. And... Run, burning, burning. This is the infamous Bridge Street. The infamous what? Bridge Street. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what is That's it only also? for the foreigners. They're like, oh, West Fifth Street. What? What are you talking about? There's no West Fifth Street in Nashville Harbor. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. It disappeared. There's a Bridge Street there. Because there's a bridge. <laughs> Duh. No, no, it's West Fifth Street. Oh. Oh, I remember that whole address thing thing. There you go. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, what's this? I was like, no, Bridge Street. Native. We call it Bridge Street. That's all I've ever known. For the out-of-towners that give men our money. We call them. We know West Fifth Street. We're like, what? <laughs> oh, West Fifth Street. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these are, this is city council arguing about this shit for like weeks. Like creations of mirrors and those glasses. Glasses, glasses. Arden glasses. Fifth Street versus Fifth Street. Fifth Street versus Fifth Street. Is it driving or walking? Driving. Oh, I'm driving. Yeah, we may have to throw a cheap light in there. Okay, so two barbecue baby sandwiches. Only if I pay. And a gram of shards. How's that? No. You want a gram of shards? Everybody loves a gram of shards. At least around here, anyway. You could actually unlock it. You could buy all kinds of things with a gram of shards. You can, seriously. Just go, shaka, 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 grab a shard. Ah, can I have your daughter? No, no, boy. We can, uh, we can pick up the, uh, you know, barbecue baby sandwiches and, uh, <laughs> you know, and you guys can, you know, Stacy can pick up a pack of cigarettes and then, uh, I really need a cigarette because I've had cigarettes since I got all up. <laughs> And you saw them when I got home. How about we get the cigarettes first and then the food? Yes, that's what I was eating at. See, he is so brilliant. Love it! Part of the reason way. I married him. You eat and then you smoke. I know the drills. Yeah, see, see, he knows drills. Can you show that knife? Which one? This one? Yes. See, every good tweaker needs a knife. There's two things in a tweaker pack that every tweaker has. I guarantee he has at least one to seventeen flashlights and at least two knives. 
It's Tweaker Hall. Why do you need to have that many lights? Well, to readjust your eyes. Because you never know when you walk outside if it's 12 a.m. or 12 midnight. Especially if it's a nice dark place. Usually it is when you're checking the bottles. Anyways, so you have no idea. You could walk out and it could be like, bing, all bright out. You're like, ah, and then you had to eat sunglasses. Clip. I don't know. You walk out in the middle of the night, you're like, I can't see because, well, oh, that was 12 a.m., not 12 p.m. So you're like, tick, 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 tick. And then flashlights go up everywhere. And then we light our way. <laughs> yeah, two things. Law. Tweaker law. One. One to 17 flashlights, and at least two knives at all times. Nice. I like to spring assist because I like my shit to come out real quick. Right. Like my penis and wars. <laughs> See, that's where I'm starting to think the other hatter is. He ain't in Wonderland. He's in Hyrule. Or uh, he's trapped in the pipes with Mario. <laughs> I checked out Skyrim, was in and out of that for two years. Maybe three. I think he stayed in Skyrim for a while. I did. I, think I have no had. interest in such things. I was like, no more. Why not? Oh, well, you know, it takes away time from shaking the bottle. Huh. That's what I love, man. This thing even creeps in everywhere. In modern media and modern music. I mean, that song is straight talking about Bacon the Clash. With Shaco Berry Finn and Fifth Berries. Everywhere else, Shaco the Bottle. I mean, you know, this country rap thing, but that's crazy. You know, you got, you got Struggle Jennings, all these guys. They're talking about shaking shit. Uh, jelly roll. And, hey, I'm cool with it, man. I like white boys rapping. I mean, that could be the only one. That's tr that's definitely for sure. Uh, you know, can't, can't have an Eminem clone that you just stretched, put an MGK next to his name. Hmm. I think you know. I did. I mean, clone MG. You know, clone Eminem. You have MGK, then stretch him to six six. Dude should have been playing for the Cavs, not a rapper, because it's really not that good a rapper. <laughs> he mumble raps everything now. God, he, he dropped his dick in the mumble rap fucking bucket and went, nah, 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 nah. and now he's mumble rapping. It's like, dude, you were actually kind of cool before when you, uh... Hey, bitch, it's Steve-O. What do I know? I'm just insane. My cousin's bad, I'm insane. At least that's what the paperwork of the US government says. I got a phone. That's the last thing I found to get to Wonderland. I don't know which one it opens. One I find. It's a magic key. I hope so. Just gotta find the magic lock to open. Skeleton keys are good. Mm-hmm. They're given to you, creates luck. It's bullshit. But they never said what kind of luck it gives. I ain't in prison yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's your luck. Or maybe I'm just too smart and wily. <laughs> or crazy like a purse. You see the moon up there? I don't <laughs> see no moon. Oh. Wait, now you just fucked me up. We were just discussing this. Is it after 12 p.m. or 12 a.m.? If the moon's out. Hey, the moon's out. This yeah. makes no sense. This is a conundrum. <laughs> Are you two really here? No. Are we on a picnic? Is that what's going on? We're on a picnic, aren't we? We're going to discuss that. That's for sure. Uh, Not right no, now. We're already on it. Yeah, I know, but we should. But the, yeah, I got to get the microphone. Get some things. Some things we need. Materials. I need charcoal berry fin. And I need spurfle berries. Some Coleman gas. And preferably a large Gatorade bottle. Chicka, chicka, chicka. 
So, so prefer the Voss bottles, I hear? I don't know. Voss. Voss. <laughs> uh, I think it's just because of the name Voss. It's for them, mom. It's for the people it's for that them. vape. Yeah, the, those are for the yuppie vaping drinkers. You see, us regular tweakers, we like to get our uh, minerals back after like four to five to six days of being up and chasing shadow people. We're putting the F's on art stores. So we need our minerals back so we get Gatorade bottles. So we always have well, lots of Gatorade bottles. And plus, Gatorade comes in the extra thick plastic. I ain't had one blow up on me yet. <laughs> Not yet, anyways. Oh, I swear by God. Mm. Handy bit of knowledge for our viewers. I was originally born in Florida, right around the corner where Gatorade was created. Oh, sure. He has property there. I'm right around the corner where Gatorade. You have Gatorade property? I need bottles. Charlotte County. Yes, sir. And right around the corner. And um. I actually have, yeah, they have family property down there. They, they, my mom got a plot down there. Yeah, I'm supposed to have one in Arcadia if my mom didn't fucking sell it. I got like 2.5 acres or some shit like that. It's all swampland. I don't know, maybe not now. I ain't been down there. And... This is near the port. I don't even know. I don't, it looks wooded. Mine's in Arcadia. They look pretty wooded and swampy. That flat. was the coolest fucking thing with the way you flipped it. You see where it landed? It's still burning. Ooh, ha <laughs> Looky, looky, balls on hooky. This is exactly. He's being real. This is him. This is just There's no act. No, no act. I will want some like close-ups of and, and weird mo moments and trippy weird behavior, but well, um, uh, you can fake that all you want. Uh, he won't have to fake it. And Are you actually getting something so that to do this or no? What? Oh, some 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 charcoal berry fin? I guess I don't know. Um, maybe. Well, I don't know. I, um, maybe. Uh, DK, maybe. I shall pass it. I think I'm going to keep some of the location Enjoy. a little bit and not a mess if, with some of this info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're just driving around this little town called Asshole Vila in the Midwest. Alright. Great, right, great. Right. The Hatter's own high little high rule. High little. Actually, that's an even better name for a shit town like this. High little. High <laughs> little. So we go over the bridge. Go over the bridge. Well, actually, don't go over the bridge. Go to the street. Yeah, you're going correct. <coughs> Looking for yeah, uh, yield of dealings of trading of... um. This is highly illegal, kids. Don't do this when you become an adult. Ah, the feel of the Blair Witch Project, only this is real. The, the Glare Witch. <laughs> the Glass Witch. The Glass Bitch. The Glass Bitch Project. I know a lot of Glass Bitches. Okay, try not to get the people behind us. I haven't moved my hand. I will pull my head up and fill the screen so there is no people behind us. Is there people behind us? <laughs> oh my god, there is. Oh. That's so good. It could be 5 0. Drive uh, normal. Oh, never mind. If there's 5 0, those are some old people working at CIs. They're everywhere in High Little. Anyone's a CI. What's a CI? Huh? A confidential informant. Also known in some circles as a narc. Oh. Or a Snitch. Anyone know what happens to stitches? Get ditches. <laughs> no, they get stitches and then thrown in ditches. <laughs> I don't think they would have time to get the stitches. I was gonna say. Wow. Huh? Well, they don't have time to get the stitches. waste of resources. They don't, they don't have time to get the stitches when they catch a case of high speed lead poisoning. <laughs> and what's really cool 
It doesn't always have to be high-speed lead poisoning. It could be high-speed stainless steel that is quiet. Well, everything takes accuracy. Even shaking the bottle takes accuracy. If you are not accurately making your recipe and you add a little too much bouillon base because you decided to watch some cooking show in the morning, you're like, hmm, I think I'm gonna add some bouillon base to my charcoalberry friend. And you're like, switched over one of them Voss bottles. And you're like, boom! <laughs> yeah, high speed plastic is gonna leave a lot of marks. <laughs> And Coleman fuel burning upon plastic that becomes four man's cheap napalm. <laughs> My preferred recipe for napalm would be styrofoam and gas. Styrofoam, gas, and make it really nice. Tide pods. They're not just for eating, kids. Um, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, left line, left line. That is correct. Uh, that's right. Yeah, because with uh. What the hell used to be to the right then? Uh, toxic hell. Ah. Toxic hell is right there. Okay. And uh, up that way is giant beagle. And uh, uh, that's where you start leaving a, uh, uh, high little, and you get into uh, Austin fuck. <laughs> right, right. What exactly is a high little? High little. That is what I am going to name this town because everyone is a little high in it. Hi, little. But what I did want to say, I promise I will not take you to any trap houses. Maybe a couple whorehouses. Okay. But no trap houses. See, things come in circles throughout time. I mean, we see it in music. Mm -hmm. We see it in filmmaking. Reboot this, reboot that. Mm -hmm. But upon establishing my 45th year on this satellite rock, spinning in space, I found that lifestyles and living, living comes in circles too. Back in the early 1800s, mm -hmm. but you know where Tamry Hill is? Mm -hmm. Up by where I live. Now, the reason Tannery Hill is called Tannery Hill is what? There's a cannery down there. Part of the reason why um, Ace Obila's uh, river is still polluted so much to this day because they would just dump the excess dye off the pallets, platforms, into the river. Wow! A few people do really not go. This tannery worker lived down on the river. There's a whole little shanty town in Kent City with their wives and their kids and everything. Everyone lived there. It was like a little community within the town. Of Manson? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> no. But they had everything down there. They had a little bar, they had a brothel, everything down there. It was like a mini bridge street. So, you know, the high brow would go to Bridge Street, the low brow would hang out at Tannery Hill. Now, what I found funny though, either the cops struck it. I don't think the cops would go down there and strike it like, strike it like that. But um, just this past summer, there's a little tent city of homeless built down there. I was um, going to uh, house. Everybody took me. And one day, 
I hit my chest and all that shit back there. It's back there. For the baseball field for shit. That's what it was. I did hang out there for a minute. Good. Them twackers are a little too twacky though. Mm. I mean, at least for my lifestyle choices. I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all about Second Amendment and shit. But I'm not one of those people that believe drugs, especially stuff like crank. Should not be mixing that shit with guns. No. This is a bad idea, Wing. <laughs> Though I am all for LSD and guns. I mean, that could be a good time. They're looking to legalize LSD in small doses in Colorado. Mm hmm. Mushrooms. No, also acid. Microdosing. Oh. Microdosing. Yep. Which, you know, yeah, that's all well and good, is it? But you're not going to get the full effects. You're not going to get the. Add orange juice and enjoy effects. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's not like, hey, let's, you know, let's, let's eat a 10 strip and three triple stacked septicons. Can you flip that shit and rave all night? No, it's not gonna be that. It's gonna be microdosing. Uh, it's like, oh, I, I feel good. I feel good. Well, you know what? I feel good and I feel great. I get that off of my fucking mood stabilizers and shit. If I'm going to do a highly illegal illicit drug, I'm going to go ball out. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. I mean, I mean really. Watch those things. I mean, yeah, sure, you run the risk of death, but hey, it's a selective annihilation. This country's been doing it forever. Why do you think you came to... Population control. Exactly. Why do you think you can't find a... Apparently, it's in about four states in the Union right now. We're in Atlanta. It's all fetty. It's all fetty. Selective. Selective annihilation. Is it bullshit? Sure, sure. But when science sits there and decides, I mean, you know, like the top motherfuckers in their fields, say, hey, you know what? Maybe this little satellite rock spinning around through space, um, I don't think it can really handle much more than like 10 to 12 billion people on it. Because if you start getting up in that, because we're at 9 billion right now. 9 billion. That's Not a yet. hell of a lot. Not yet. Almost. Almost. One billion Chinese is going into the workforce this year. Into their workforce. One billion. That means one billion 18-year-olds in China get jobs and now are allowed to start fucking and having children. Well, that means you cut that one billion and a half and make it a male-female ratio because you can almost do that in China because they controlled that shit for that. what, four decades? Five decades. Said. They controlled their birth rates and everything in China for five decades. So let's not, you know, one billion people will then be got in two years' time. Another billion. Aha. Uh -huh. When they were the doing. just surpassed nine billion. When they were doing the one child law. Yeah, for 50 years. Yeah. Almost 50 years. It was actually like 47 years or something. That was population control. It was genocide. 
Well, that too. Yeah, but what they also don't tell you? That's what I'm saying. <coughs> this one billion strong workforce that gonna happen over there in 2020? That is almost a 50% split, male female ratio. Really? That means uh, there's gonna be evidence in the multiply. That's right. Because China did such control of their birth rate for almost 50 years. They, they picked and choose which babies went to barbecue with Nutty and which ones. So they tried to make almost perfect 50-50 split. <laughs> when your cream gets sriracha, you better go have that chip Yeah, that sounds like a disease waiting to happen. No, you just hung up. that did happen. Hung up too much time in those brothels. <laughs> What's this alien picnic? Oh, just like I feel that we as humans would be really highly illogical and egomaniacal to be like, we are the only species in the universe. Mm -hmm. God, if we were, I'm sorry for this universe. That really suck. But I mean, we as a species, we're not really good at speciesing. Actually, we're horrible at speciesing. <laughs> so, I have an idea. It's almost like that is meaning to life also known as the only picnic. Why are we here? For the longest time, I was like, why ask why? Even though I was a white child, I need the answers to everything. And I was like, hmm, I'm not gonna do this, why ask why? There's no who cares. I'm one of those people who also care a lot about different things. I care about shit that most people don't care about. Like shit, like, why are we here? Well, if you imagine, this would be a happy little Jurassic Park. Like the series. Is that TM'd? Trademark. What was Jurassic Park? Theme park. Well, what the whole fuck off rock? It was a theme park for alien species. The Allfather, Higher God, Old Ones, whatever you want to. I call them architects. But then we'll go on the back end of the. I kind of. Expanded the alien picnic theory. So, anyways, the architect or whatever, they're like, hey, 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 guys, guys, check it out. I made you see their point. Jurassic Park. Disneyland. It's a little rock right there. It's a nice little Goldilocks zone flying around the sun. It's got everything there. Go there on vacation. Yeah. But you got that as guardians. Vacation. Onunaki. Onunaki. I agree with me. Onunaki. You don't even have to vacation. They can just come here every 2,000 and some years when the planet X or Nubu comes floating right by. Like, and, and I will laugh. It is Jurassic Park World. Only creature extra dimensional. Hey, maybe in their dimension, our rock's not there. I rock right, got hit by y'all, uh, got hit by Nibiru all those years ago. Back when it was called Tiamat. Blasted a big chunk off of our moon. 
blasted a big chunk of our moon. Maybe it blasted a really big chunk. Maybe it just blasted the moon so hard that the moon just hit. Oh, half our little rock in the dimension. So they just they come from the twelfth, you know. You know, was fourth, sixth, 29th, I don't fucking know. Whichever one we're in, does it matter? Well, probably not. Actually, it probably should to get the address right. You know what I mean? Because. <laughs> Yeah, numbers are the eternal language. 42. Just 42. 43. 43. 43. Dog is God. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so... You know, architects are you know, like, hey, a vacation spot. But leave it alone. You're all a bunch of grown adults. Be it alien or otherwise, they're all going to die. like that. Hey, just leave it the fuck alone. You can't be going and dipping your dicks in everybody's Cheerios across the galaxy. Well, somebody decided to dip their dicks into Cheerios. They killed off. The creator races or architects. Happy little mud ball world of vacation land. It's like Florida. What's up? Whole round. Because those flat planet ideas, man. I'm sorry. We were on a flat planet. Where we're at right now, we look like Florida. Just saying. Hey, do you know what a carpenter's wet dream is? Finding a chick that is flat as a board and easy to nail. Mm -hmm. Just saying. So you know, I think I think it was probably the Asgardians at about this time came down, and they might have been the ones that dipped their dicks in materials. Because by all rights, they would have to be quite an advanced civilization. Rainbow Bridge. Even look at the MCU, the way it's depicted. A giant interdimensional teleporter. Kind of makes sense. That's right. Kind of would also make sense why we have blue eyes. That 2.1% of this entire rock I believe Darwin proved in his theories he's like man how the fuck would a mutation like blue eyes come about naturally I was like ah. well it took billions of years well now in modern science, it's not broken down that we ain't been here in billions of years. And on the Christianity side, though, we ain't been here for what, 4,000 years or whatever that they're thinking. Fuck that. That's just, that's just stupid. So if we're not here for billions of years. Yet we haven't been in a short time of 4,000 and some years. Gotta settle somewhere in between. So we say a few hundred million years. You know, sure, that's, that's a nice ballpark estimation. Because who knows, like I was just talking about earlier, how things come around in circles. How many times civilizations rose and fell, rose and fell, rose and fell. Multiverses. Creating multiverses. And then in turn, those multiverses Go and make a what? Omniverse. What if then, and this will expand the alien picnic. Sure, maybe this is just one rock in one dimension. I had a bunch of brontosauruses and T-Rexes and everything like that. That some alien race, we're going to say within our timeline on this one. That maybe it was the Asgards that, the Asgardians that did it. Um, they came around and said, you know, just, you know, having the picnic, you know, throwing out, you know, maybe Sif and Thor sat down and, you know, 
got really drunk on some, you know, some meat or something, and, you know, I think there's a lot. I mean, they talk about Sif and Thor. And Thor just, you know, throws Molnar, you know, the kids covered Molnar up into the fucking meal now. They just got steam. And just, you know, forges, it's just blah, 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 all over everything. <laughs> just saying. Who knows? Strange things happen on picnics. At least my picnics. And I'm thinking he has guardians. And that's why I'm thinking probably has guardians because strange things happen on my picnic. I have blue eyes. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so, anyways. Let's go even farther. What if the universe is the creator? An omnipotent. Every single atom is part of the one. Of the one. I mean, what if? <laughs> what if the universe itself, which then over time, you know, the universe became the multiverse. The multiverse became the megaverse. It keeps it all. And then the megaverse becomes the omniverse because I have an omniverse. You just have extra dimensions of the one. Now, if you have a being of absolute energy that is sentient, has an understanding of not only itself, but how it was, how it had made itself in the initial Big Bangs and everything like that. But in your pure energy, you ain't got eyeballs. Eyeballs are gonna go. Don't have ears. How would you then experience your creation? You would take 21 grams of your energy. You pull meat suits out of the rocks of your worlds carbon base flesh junkies and you drop these excess 21 grams of your pure soul energy into them to experience what life is so and you give them the choice give them freedom of choice because if you want to break it down it's this omnipotent creature is energy the Norse the Scandi within their culture there's three interlaying triangles I'm sure everyone has seen that before it's, 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 it's one of their it's one of the oldest ruins now I believe that ruin is for the three energies of life of you have positive energy, good. You have negative energy, we call it dark. Now those are one in one. You can't fire up a light bulb without a positive and a negative. The other quantum, correct. Now, well, Nutty, you think you're the scientist today? What is the third triangle? The third triangle. Chaos. It's what weaves in between the two. It is that freedom of choice. It is that variable. Because even in chaos, we even within the theorem of chaos rule, when chaos burns itself out, comes of it. Order. Law. I mean, it stays chaos so long. And in every one of these variables of chaos, dip its dick in materials. But it creates something new. Something new. And it's usually something new within order. So, you have positive, you have negative, chaos. And that is what the omnipotent universe is. Or, in this case, now after billions and billions of years, and it's self-realization and understanding, 
it has become an omniverse. See, right now, right now, there's a Stacy, a Ken, and a Nutty elsewhere in another dimension doing this right now as we are. It's like it. variations. We go to sleep, we wake up, and it resets to another version of the it's same thing. So, I mean, is it one huge virtual Groundhog Day? Maybe. But across multiverses. But across multiverses, it does not make it a Groundhog Day. It no longer becomes linear. Linear loop, yeah. yeah. No longer it becomes linear. It becomes our chaos of this moment, right now. Us doing this, us doing this right now, may create this in another universe. You now an incredibly rich, 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 rich ass award winning filmmaker. And now, but unfortunately, in that same universe, because you became that rich and because of that 50 50 split on this, I became that rich and I shared the battle till I died. Cause and effect. It's cause and effect. It's what it is. Is that what you want to do? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, in this universe? No, I don't want to do that. I probably won't do that. What is your plan? To not have a plan. Do you want to improve? What is improvement? I'm already a perfect god in my theory. I'm saying instead of doing it, shaking that bottle too much. For the moment, just like everything, shaking the bottle is a means to an end. A moment. Because that's all these lives for these happy little meat suits is about moments. Okay. Yeah, this moment of shaking the bottle is coming to its end. Out of the chaos is coming order. Out of the chaos is coming understanding and knowledge. That's all we can do is learn and be. I don't ever have a plan. Would you have a plan? How many, how, many, how, many, how many people, how many people really, and I mean really, have a plan? One third of one percent? I mean really, seriously, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. What I just dropped right here, theory, it's just theory of, of, a, of a motherfucker, I mean, yeah, literally a greater genius, on paper at least, that's what they say, but what's that paper say? paper just like the same paper that says I'm insane and can't come and work at a Wendy's or Taco Bell and not slit someone's throat yeah I could probably do that but you know putting Chuck into the Chuck meat sounds like more fun to me eating babies eating babies good times I mean I'm just saying is that a plan is that a plan Hey, Nani, are we planning on eating a baby today? No, it's not that solstice. Loki doesn't want them. Okay, then that's all I'm going to they run out of sweet baby rooms. So. Uh, yeah, we we not going to settle for subpar. Cause and effect again. Maybe in that other dimension, you become that. Very, very, very outstandingly award-winning. I become the baby? No, that's in that dimension. Oh, We're talking about the this dimension. took a big turn there. Yeah, you took a left turn at Albuquerque, dude. Stop following Bugs Bunny. Look what happened to Alice. Following the white rabbit. Mm -hmm. Don't follow bunnies. Unless they're playboys. Then you chase them bitches to the ends of the earth. And see if it's flat. Oh. <laughs> oh. See, that's a variable we don't even want to speak about. Because it ain't flat. I couldn't resist that one. I mean, that's what I don't get. We have a goddamn satellite fucking telescope bigger than John Holmes' dick floating around that could take any picture. What did we take the most pictures of? F. Because, you know, we're some egomaniacal little flesh suits. Selfies for all. Selfies for all. Hey. Uh, really? Let so me get So, so, so. Uh, so we have the Hubble telescope floating through space, taking pictures of everything. And all these flat earthers are like, 
The world is flat. Well, you know what, you fuckers? You know it's not. The world is round and a vampire. Deuces. Because being the first son of Odin, I'm heathen. Maybe we'll start to... I believe in no base forms of Christianity or any other religion. If I was not heathen, the only one that kind of makes any kind of sense out there, out there, is Buddhism. And that is more looked upon as, in my eye, instead of a theology, more of a ideology. You know, it's an idea, it's a thought, it's an ever expanding level of consciousness. I don't want to expand my conscience that much. <clears throat> okay. The only thing I would like to expand that much is my penis. <laughs> so I stay heathen. And on this note, we will say, I'm a follower of Crowley and the left-handed path. That would be Alistair. Yep. Which Alistair Crowley, I want to clear this up right now, was not a Satanist, he was heathen. So, I'm going to blow every religious ideology out of the water right now. He was all about manifestation. He knew how to work that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's what I'm about. What's that say I did not manifest this moment? I've always wanted to be in a film. I've always wanted to write a film. I'm doing it right now. What's that? I didn't manifest this shit. So, Jesus having that inside track, being for the blue collar guys, Like, man, this shit's fucked. What'd he do? He'd go, went into the market. The money exchanges. What'd he do? He flipped the money exchanges fucking tables. I'm screaming at him, tell him, hey, this money is flat. It's lead, you stupid motherfuckers. Unless you want to go with it, my ideologies of we're all gods, anyways. He just had a vision. He just had a vision. He had a vision that. Why be ruled over one by one man? Why be ruled over the elites? And it's happening again. Fucking rise up, people. You'll all be Jesuses. Create a whole new world. Create your own. Manifest that shit. Manifest your own fuck off destinies. Oh, it's going. Oh. I told you it's going. Pay attention. I'm. Trying to do two things at once. We know I'm not good at that. That's what she calls glass. Going ice skating. Hey, we're going ice skating. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> that's, that's our coat. I'll get a text. Hey, I don't want to go ice skating. Well, I'll go get a skate. You, you know, when you plaque it all the time, you got to make a coat because for some reason, glass is the devil. See, this is me naturally. I hope by the end of filming today, I'll be able to get a nice fat rail. You'll see me glazed. I'm much calmer. That's what happens when you're a product of Pharmacor. In the 70s. When Pharmacor just has an excess of what? <laughs> it's fed beans or weight loss. When all those bitches coming out of the 50s and 60s rocking their fucking husbands out like nothing because they're all twacked the fuck out on dexedrine and methadrine and all these fucking weight loss pills to become who? Bo Derek or, or, or any number of these other bitches. Don't yeah. forget the Adderall that they were doing too. Adderall? That's more like the 90s, dumbass. That would have been Ritalin. Anyways, they had all these amphetamines laying around. And Lily, and, 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 uh, what is it? What are the other company? Come on, you're the pill lady, what? Uh, what are the drug companies? Like Lily, Pfizer. Pfizer, Perlinti. All these motherfuckers are like, hey, what are we going to do with all these amphetamines now? All these bitches are skinny. And we had, we had Woodstock and everything, and they all ate the brown acid and shit. Now they're ready to fucking. Sheep, led to the slaughter. They'll do anything we say. That's why we dumped those thousand and some hits of brown acid there. If you've so, taken the brown acid, go to the tent. Yeah. If you're what taking you it, the tent? go to the tent. What do they do in the tent? Maybe a little mixing of the noodle, a little brainwashing. 
Maybe that's why all the fucking goddamn baby boomers went and butt fucked this country. MK Ultra. So yeah, you have, you have the ultra experiments and you know talking with goats and shit. Couple naked chicks dancing around the fire. Yeah, you know they're like, hey, they're all ready for <laughs> reprogramming, people. Uh -uh. So let's take, let's start programming their children. Because you know it is the seventies. I think that was the first. That's what the. There you want a revolution. I think that's what the revolution got. A bunch of ultra fucking stupid intelligent kids. What now in the 70s? Now, all these smart kids are really bored. So the parents are like, oh my god, my child is bouncing off the wall. No, your child is just really fuck off smart. And we're stuck in the United States where they're not milking cows, they're not fucking bailing hay, they're not doing anything worthwhile of production, they're sitting around fucking just jacking it, watching Warner Brothers. We need to do something about no, that. President of Lilly, President of Pfizer, what do we do? Well, we got all these amphetamines laying about. That should calm these little rat bastards. Well, then what do we do? Well, we're gonna have to make up something. Let's call it ADHD. I like it. What's it mean? I don't fucking know. Give me a minute. Ooh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. You have to have like disorder it. in there. Bill, relabel all that fucking goddamn fucking amphetamines and call it Rillin. And they did. So in 1978, yours truly, star of this program, and the Hatter himself, bloop, have some Ritalin, bloop, have some more Ritalin, bloop, have some more Ritalin, nutty, bloop, have some more Ritalin, okay. So for the next decade, yours truly, the Happy Little Hatter, by the way, later to be called, is running around like a happy little zombie. Yeah. When I'd miss a dose, my elementary school teachers would lock me in the fucking goddamn fucking staff bathroom. He's out of control. He needs his villain. No, you stupid motherfuckers. All you're doing is giving a genius who was bored focus the chemical dependency. On, focus on the genius part. And focus on the chemical dependency. <laughs> At least he can focus now. Focus, focus, focus. Well, I had no problem focusing. I just didn't know what to focus on. Because, you know, when you live in a flat state that's full of swamp, there isn't much to do except wrestle alligators and eat mosquitoes. Just saying. So then, nineteen seventy-eight to nineteen eighty-six, eighty-seven. Right about the time I started getting my. John Holmes poured his mustache and my first curly cues. I said, hey! We need to take him off the amphetamines or there's going to be a new world nutty order. They took him off. Now you are the amphetamine dependent or as I like to say speed dependent or glass dependent. 13 year old with cirrhosis of the liver, stage one. Where then, kind of taught myself reading all these books, trying not to be bored while I'm a zombie throughout most of the 80s, that I kind of learned how to read people's 
lies. And God damn it. There was a three doctors that looked right at my mom and said, oh yeah, the reason why your son is sick, it's not at all the fact he went through chemical fucking amphetamine withdrawal because we just cold turkeyed his ass off of speed. What he's got is a naturally fatty liver. No, what he's got is starring from all the amphetamines you put him on since four years old. You dumb motherfuckers. What are you lying to my mom for? You know, she ain't gonna believe me. I'm a fucking madman now. Well, yeah. uh, how did Daddy fix his chemical dependency? Well, at summer of his 13th year, before going to high school, he found a great gift of the gods. Mary Joanna. Ah. Well, this is the boom boom for you. Hey, we got any barbecue sauce? Someone already took this one. There's a baby around here. There's proof. We must find it. Here, baby, baby, baby. Meow. Meow. Baby. You need my belly. Loki needs your soul. This is going to be my luck. It's going to be one of them cute babies. Loki's not going to want the soul, and I'm not going to get to eat today. Other than that pickinator. Thank you, my director. Thank you, uh, camera woman. Oh, thank you, camera person. You're thank welcome, you, camera. camera. We cannot gotta diversify sexism. Right, right. That is not oh, an out of box. Oh. oh, it's okay. That is not an out of box. You cannot whip it across a parking lot. It is an out of box. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's one of the fucking defenders or fucking the El Chipo That's right. Right there, kitty. That's where I put that tape. Is that it? Right over there? Yes, no, no, no. Is it still there? No, 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 no. I struck it some months ago. But that's where I spent like a week. And I did it. And I tried to get in on Tenth City, but I wasn't one of them cool enough tweakers. They have levels of cool with tweakers? Yeah. Well, after that, Explain that, that please. Somehow I became the lord of the tweakers. Oh. You two are trying to kill me. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, it's kind of high. It doesn't really... So wait, so what's the order that the tweakers go in from I don't know. highest every, every to... Every tweaker has a different order of it all. But I'm like... Like putting I... socks in a drawer. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Salt and then there's and some sea. of the matchless ones. I guess I'm one of the matchless ones that... They made a god. What do I know? I'm just a nutty header. Aha! See? Kenny! My toilet! It's, it's actually just you know, 50 some feet or so from my camp. Yeah, it's the river of many fish, my friend. The place where you do not want to fish. What are you doing? You have any company? You don't know, have any company? So you're not doing anything. So you're just sitting there. Would, would you then like to be in a film? Yeah, do you want to be in a movie? You don't want to be in a movie? It's not a porn. I mean, we can make a porn, you know, in our private time if you want. But no, this is a real and serious movie. If, 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 if you're on stage fight and get performed like that, how are we going to make a porn? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, all right, that's good. But the only people... Well, no, the, 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 no, we're not. Yeah, don't shoot a film in front of millions. 
you shoot the film in front of just a few people and then it's distributed millions. No, we're not sure that millions of people are going to see it. We hope millions of people are going to see it and it skyrockets to the top and I become a millionaire. No, there is no makeup. It's, 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 it's a rockumentary or a mockumentary or a documentary. It's, 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 an, it's, an, it's an analysis of nutty with analies. That's what it is. No! You just can't watch. You must participate. You know I'm a psyche vampire and I need someone to feed upon. So be my thrall and allow me to feed upon you. Oh, don't. Oh. What is it going to require of me? What is it going to require of you? What, is, what does it require of any of us? Just be. Just be. Just be. Just be. Just be. And, and let two people walk around with fucking cameras and shoot us. If it does turn into a porn, I'm sorry. We cannot help that. Things do happen. This is a modern age. <laughs> Don't tell me to shut the fuck up. I've given you an opportunity of the gods. To do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Please, please say you'll do it. Please say you'll do it. Just do it. I think you should do it. Um, come on. I already tried to find my R2 unit. <laughs> come on. We're going to be done shooting in three hours. Actually, we'll probably be done shooting in two. Or one. We've already got over fucking an hour and some of footage. Then all right, we'll grab you and you be the prop designer I need. Listen, a strap on with razor blades. I need a cheese grater. I need some formunda. And I need some go-go. Oh, what do you think? Come on, you're gonna be the prop master. You're gonna be the prop master. So can, can, you, can you like make these things happen? She will not be associated with the stuff technically. Huh? I'll make sure that it's... <laughs> what? I'm talking to my director. She'll have to sign a standard release form, that's it. Yeah, you'll just have to uh, sign your life away upon a standard release form, giving uh, your soul to me. Which I then will take your soul, and I will split it with my director. And then we will offer it to the gods. And then we will both be blessed and become millionaires! You don't have, you're full of shit, you don't have one. I don't have a soul. You ain't that much of a redhead. I don't, you ain't that much of a redhead. To be a ginger, not have a soul. And her name really changed. You're right, I have no idea how deep it really goes. And if it turns into a porn, well, that's a deep subject with a lot of water at the bottom. Names can be changed if necessary. Yeah, names can be changed. You're already D to me. And think about it. If, it if, if, if you want to step on camera and just not want to be a prop master, how much would that burn your brother's balls? See, that's what I'm really looking for, is ball burning. Come on, come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. You know you want to. What? Oh. What? I'm not doing it entirely in, in to, to burn your brother's balls, but... Fine. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Everyone uses me for irritation. Because I gotta run around behind everybody's asses and put 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 a little fucking soothing salve upon their their hurt buttockses. Cause I pounded them so deeply with irritation. Fine. Fine D. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Fine. You do not want to come ice skating with me. No, I'm not at home! I told you all. No, I'm not at home. I'm off shooting a film. I think I'm kidding. He's not kidding. See, there's my director. But all right, fine. You don't want to be in my film. Then you know what? You're going to have to make a porn with me in the next 72 hours. I'll talk to you later. Love you.
<laughs> that's still, that's, that's some good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> so you still, you still got a soundboard. I know. <laughs> See how I do things? I like it. I'm good at what I do. Not always very nice, but I'm very good at it. Either way. See, oh, yeah, the footage. This is, this is, this is where Gypsy and I used to always come down, smoke a blunt, before I got all glassed out and got all wackadoodle. Up there, up do there. You, do you mind if I actually, uh, the mouth thing and all that for, do you want to show that or not? Well, yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah, that's not entirely from speed. A lot of people are like, hey, oh my God, you start losing teeth. Because you've done so much speed. No, what that actually is, is leave it, living a year and a half on the streets, scrubbing your ass where you can and brushing your teeth when and where you can. It is also due to the fact I had all the enamel stripped from my fucking mouth after almost a decade of Ritalin use. So my teeth were shot by the time I was 13, along with my fucking liver. So, uh, overall, that thing is a big culvert that goes underneath the road we just came down. And you could walk through it. And Gypsy and I would come down here and smoke a blunt. We go, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was just like the tranquility, listening to the babbling brook. Which, at the time, I, I never would think it would become my toilet for a season. But every now and then, some seasons are just a toilet in life. Now I'm going to get some toilet um, imagery. She gives happy endings. Yes. Except to me. Because she keeps saying something like, I cannot find the tower amongst the forest. What the fuck does that mean? So I manscaped. And she said, Oh, I found the bivouac now that the forest is gone. Hey, bivouac. Yes. And it's I, the nutty hatter, who knows entirely too many big words, which I have to dump down for the majority of this town's populace. That's why they call it layman terms. <laughs> layman? Layman. You know why they call it layman's terms? Why? Because way back when, a layman. Everyone usually thinks it's lame and no. Layman. Layman. Correct. The lay folk were like your serfs, your farmers. They weren't about the court or royalty. So they were laymen or men of the land. Nice. Which they thought were stupid. They weren't, because those laymen during the Black Plague, all them farmers with all that onion refuse, you know what? They survived because you cut an onion in half every winter. Take two, so you have four halves. You place them strategically around your house. You will not get sick because onion and the natural mustards in it will suck every form a viral infection from your air. And that's why the farmers of the Black Plague and their families all fuck off survived while the city folk of London creating the Black Plague by dumping their waste into the fucking streets and having the rats eat it because all the Black Plague really is, is what? Sumanella. And then, if it got really bad, they added a little typhus upon it. Nice little Which is a really bad, bad, bad fever. 
which I had one when I was 18 months old and it killed me to get rid of it. Which I had like, later on, some little weird gypsy woman. And like, oh my God. I was like, what, 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 what? Oh my God, what, lady, get off me. She's like, you have a traveler with you. No, I'm by myself. She's like, he hitchhikes within you. How do you know it's a he? Maybe it's a she. Maybe it's a shim. She's like, whatever it is, it's eating you. In my butt? No. Well, so I sat down and I had a reading with this crazy old lady. I guess I have an additional 21 grams riding with me that I brought back from the other side. When at 18 months old, doctors in Florida decided to pull some house shit. Oh, is that loud? Is that copyrighted? I can say house because a house is a house is a house, but it's also a doctor. <laughs> I had typhus. Actually, I had a, a Mandela paratyphus fever due to a little raccoon, baby type, fell into our artesian well in Florida. Drowned and died, poor little raccoon. Well, gulp, gulp. You know, because what do babies do? Well, you know, I was all good. I thought they bathed in barbecue sauce. Well, I only bathed them in barbecue sauce. Anyways, my mom and dad had salmonella. What we, oh my God, we got a flu bug, our stomach. We got, uh, uh, uh. I was fine. Well, why would I be fine? Oh, all my bottles were being boiled. All my cereal was made with boiled water. All my formula with boiled water. See, it's the 70s back then. We didn't have fuck off microwaves yet. So I was all good. You know, my parents are just fighting a little bit of food poisoning, also known as tomang. Nah. Until after a few too many showers, and babies in bathtubs. I ended up getting to Tome. That turned into typhus. Which then boiled my brain for almost 24 hours at 114 degrees. Now, I don't like to cook my babies at 114. I usually cook my babies at a raw, like 125, and then I throw them on the BBQ and slap some sweet baby rays upon it. No, I boiled at like about 114 in my own fucking meat suit juices. And the doctors in Port Charlotte, Florida, at the hospital said, we're going to have to try something radical. And my mom was like, this is my only baby I've had. I've lost three others. Save my child. Well, sign here because he may die anyways. Because this is going to be some radical fucking shit. So they went to work rather quickly. Some nurses ran and got a big ass fucking tub, filled it up with ice and a whole bunch of water, and they drowned my 18 month old ass until I was dead. And they kept me in there cooling, cooling, cooling at a nice negative degreeage for six minutes. Upon the six minute mark, ding, they pulled me out, jacked me full of a bunch of adrenaline straight to my fucking heart because, you know, you can't take a soaking wet baby out of a fucking, you know, out of the icebox and slap them with fucking paddles. Actually, you shouldn't slap babies with paddles anyways, unless, you know, they have holes in them and you BAM! Um, and I came back to life and I went, man. I was like, yay! And I guess I fucking ended up getting a muse or a cherub attached to me. At least that's what the little old lady said. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have gave her that acid. <laughs> That's actually cool. It was the brown acid. No, actually it had the white crosses on it. She was a religious one. <laughs> no, if she was the religious one, it was the shields acid. Ah. I preferred the blue, the black, and the green. Others preferred the red shields and the yellow shields. But I was always an extremist, so I would take one four-way of black, one four-way of... Blue, one four way of green. <laughs> Wait, me. I always end up in oh, another you state. Oh, the rainbow. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah.
So maybe that's why I do this shit. Maybe that's how I do this shit. And I got some little happy malarkey of angel stuck on my soul going, you're going to do something great. And I'm like, what? I don't know, but you're going to do something great, nutty. And I'm like, shake the bottle. <laughs> That's some good shit. Come on. No drugs. That's a good idea. Your monkey with symbols, people. Backflip. Backflip. Maybe some days I just want to shake the bottle, do a gram fucking capsule, and disappear somewhere. But my government said that's bad. But it's bad that I, you know, calm the fuck down. Which hopefully, if everything works out, you never can tell. I may have to go get some salt. Which brings me to salting a motherfucker. Within the tweaker world, a salting, not an assaulting, no, it's a salting. It's when you take rock salt and you suck a nigga off for his money and you blow a line of that shit. Wanna talk about your eyeball popping? That fucking hurts. And then for a nutty hatter like me, you end up going and hunting down that motherfucker and giving him stitches. It's hard to come by in America some days. Unless you have a vagina and then you just fuck for it. Well, I'm not gaping my asshole for nobody. Oh. Echo, echo, echo. Oh no, what I mean is uh, for purposes of names uh, being used. No, They're all been... aliases. A okay, good. Every one of them is an alias. Perfect. Even Nutty's an alias, but it is attached to my real name. You see, upside down you. Uh, ah, fuck you, <laughs> America! As long as you don't fall down the well, Timmy, we're fine. Hey, man, guys, you did it again. Well, it's a deep subject of a lot of water at the bottom. And you want a lot of water at the bottom if you fall into that motherfucker, because if it's dry, that's going to hurt a lot. About. If you don't bash your head open on the way, then it might not hurt so much. Instant and quick. Oh, cool. nothing's instant and quick. There you go. Here's another little piece of squirrels. Nutty history. Squirrel! Wait, no much. Sorry. That's that ADHD again. I haven't had a line. Oh, nutty history. Hmm. Because I was so hyperactive like this and I couldn't stay still, blah, 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 blah. You know, a lot of people might think, my God, for a 45-year-old madman, this guy has lived quite a charmed life. I've been in Thrasher Magazine, a 1986 issue. Um, I rode BMX competitively from the time I was six to uh, the time I moved up to this shithole. There's a lot of cool things to do in Florida, especially when it's like summer all year round almost. But the big thing I used to do is martial arts. So people are like, Eddie, why do you let people walk all over you so much if you have three belts that none of them hold your pants up? Well, I'll tell you, with a true martial arts and when you're trained instead of picking up a Kung Fu magazine or jerking off the fucking goddamn YouTube and teaching yourself, you learn the ideology of martial arts. The control. The zen. zen of it all. So, but what it comes with as much training as I have, you can really hurt people very badly, very quickly, and for some goddamn reason, for a crazy person, I still have a conscience. And for some goddamn reason, every time these come up, people go to the hospital. So. Maybe crazy is not exactly the word then. Oh, crazy was the case that they gave me. Yeah, when society deems you as crazy, though. You're crazy to society, yeah. You just become a stain that they throw a carpet over and pay off and say, 
Be a good monkey. Play your symbols. Backflip. And stay out of trouble. And no, we are not a bunch of individual happy little snowflakes. Thank you. We're all the shit of this world. The carbon byproduct of analyse. So what's the biggest theory you've gotten on the world so far? Out of all your life, what's the biggest thing you've noticed and labeled? Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, sure, I'll answer that question and we'll put it in a nutshell. <laughs> um, one thing I've really noticed is we are all kind of, in a way, individual happy little snowflakes. But science has then proven that there are only so many individual snowflakes within the chaos of snow and winter. There is only something like eight or ten variable crystalline subjects. Snowflakes. So that in turn means yes, there's individuality between eight or ten subjects. But that's it. We're all the same crap of the world. That's what I found. We're all just in our own ways, blind squirrels trying to get a nut. Running amok, amok, amok. While the upper echelons, with all their money and all their shit, all their fabrication, because money is a construct, as much as it is time, is a construct made by man, because none of it really matters in the end. They say, in this life, there are two guarantees death and taxes. I'm going to fill you in on this one. For the last almost 17 years, this mad ass nigga ain't paid one dollar of taxes to this fuck off country because I ain't got to. So who is really crazy? The only thing I got to do in this life is die the way it should be. That is the only guarantee. You're born? There's that middle snowstorm that we call living, but what I like to call manifesting or designing. And then there's a pine box. That's it. So we're all the same, yet with a little bit of individuality. You poke a black person, they bleed red. You poke an Indian person, we'll say in this one, dot type, dot feather, they bleed red. You poke a Chinaman, he bleeds red. The only thing that defines us is our legacies. And that's what this one is. What defines a tweaker, please? What defines a tweaker? I'm glad you asked that. The infinite night to day, up, 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 nonstop, get a lot of things done. You blow your house up and you rebuild it just to do it. But what really defines the tweaker is there comes a point in the chaos, the order comes of it. And that, my friend, is what a tweaker likes to call a cheeseburger and a nap. We shut down for a little bit and we wake back up. And it's not like heroin or cocaine. Whereas people get addicted to cocaine because of all the cuts and the bullshit you put up on that shit. We triggered them. You wake up from your nap. Sometimes it's five hours after you've been up for like nine days. Might be all you need. You scrounge around your now completely cleaned abode. Wow. When did the cleaning gnomes come? They were hobbits, nutty, and they were homos. That's why everything's redesigned. You wake up, you find everything in order. You go and you find one little fold, you bolt back up, start it all over again. Other days, you don't find that little fold after sleeping like two days. 
You're like, oh my God, I fell out on Sunday and now it's four in the morning Wednesday? If you don't find that fold and you found your house blown up and you go on the run, you gotta shake a bottle if you have that chemistry ability and the recipes or you find a Trader Joe's. You're like, hey, hello. I need, so it's cool, but I tweaked them. We're kind of like this tight little uniformed circle. Whereas Doobie, the musician, who just got signed, is Stacy. He's labeled. Doobie has a song. If my brother ain't got it, I've got it. If I ain't got it, my brother's got it. Within the tweaker community, we share everything. It's like a polyamorous lifestyle with one of the ultimate drugs ever. And it's not like, hey, can I get a hot rail of that? It's, hey, you want a hot rail, Nutty? Now, which, which type of drug is that, though? Methamphetamine. Glass. You can do rails of that? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the other beauty of mouth. You can do it every way. You can boot it. But as you can see, I have lovely veins still. So I don't do that. Okay. Because I have a thing with needles. The only ones I like is... You know, ink, ink, because it only punctures five layers, of five layers of epidermis at the most. You're only supposed to hit four. You hit five only in your coloring, because color don't lock or shit. Fair enough. Anyways, you were a tattoo artist, weren't you? Yes. Licensed at one time, and it's incredibly expensive to keep up bonds and shit. I've also been... You still have the angels. How many angels you did? That... Check this out, people. That is my speed angel. Okay? Give her a line. <laughs> she takes off. Back to tweakerdom. The lifestyle, the little circle we're all in. You used to have a lot more weight. <laughs> weight? <laughs> I have pictures of that. I have pictures of that. Um, probably about six years ago, I was 270-some pounds. Now I'm a lush 160. I haven't been 160 since junior high. So I look pretty good for a 45-year-old. I was sweet. I ain't got all kinds of skin hanging off me like most fat tweakers that went squeaky. I was already going screening, skitty, 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 and only been on the twack for the last two years? Two and a quarter years, full say. Two years, four months. I like that. 24. I have a thing with numbers too. Because I'd only done go-go once, and that was back in 97? 95. Something like that. And it was pure LA shards, some uh, some of that um, red dope, I like to call. Oh, red dope because it's uh, made with uh, matchsticks as your sulfate and your catalyst. Um, that shit is rockstar. Me and uh, the rooster, the alchemist of fun, and a few other individuals down on Bridge Street, the rooster and the alchemist are no longer with us. So, I moved from being a night of fun to I guess now I'm the alchemist of fun. Anyways, we all went in on a teener. And we were all a bunch of cokeheads at the time. I did not realize that a little bit goes a long way when it comes to glass. So, we did a teener like we do a teener of coke between three people <laughs> in like half an hour. <laughs> I was up for five days. When I had my cheeseburger and a nap and I woke up the next day and I went, <sighs> wow, 
I don't know if I ever want to do that again. I hope it never comes to high middle. Yeah, well, about six years later, everyone started shaking the bottle in high little. And about seven years after that, all that good, good red dope and all that anhydrous dope started bundling back in day. You know, our happy little high little. And we went from high little to high lot. <laughs> Damn. And that's when I got back on board. So I had two girlfriends and a lot of glass. So that's where I, I shedded my last 80 some pounds or so of weight. And I'm back to being my junior high weight. And then I fell into the circles after me and the gypsy broke up because I did a great and terrible abomination. But I did a terrible thing that I'm ashamed for. Is there any way to make a metaphor? A it? metaphor. Okay, let me think. Let's say, we'll not do a metaphor. We'll make it as a... Analogy. An analogy or a... Terrible? Terrible. What? Do you know, statistically, in the United States, one in five men eat their wife? Do you know, statistically, and historically, there's the rule of thumb. Do you know what the rule of thumb is? The rule of thumb is you are allowed in America to ban Western Europe, way back in the day, to beat your wife with a twig or a stick. No wider than thy thumb. Kenny, pull your thumb up in there. See, we'll be doing a little bit of, you know, Regu thick. Regulating of our bitches. So that's thickness. No wonder. That's the thickness of the branch, correct? Correct. So now, imagine if you're six foot seven, six foot nine Shaquille O'Neal motherfucker, and weapon. your rule of thumb is a goddamn sapling. No, where's the pearl bowl in there? Are we talking flexible or like totally rock hard, uh, the petrified wood? Oh, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. They didn't have Viagra back then, and I don't know if Viagra works on trees. <laughs> so, you know, I would have to assume when we grabbed our rule of thumb for our bitches to keep them, you know, regulated, it would be rather flexible. Hold, hold, hold on, I gotta do this. This tree is perfect for this to blend in. That's a Shaquille O'Neal rule of thumb. Now, you don't want to be smacking your bitch around with that. It's gonna leave a mark. You are I rule of thumb, Kenny. Safety first, dear. You good? Yes! Uh, you asked earlier about tweakers and the 1 to 17 flashlights and at least two knives for the roll of thumb, maybe. I am not the dummy you are looking for. Oh no, you are totally the droid. This <laughs> expedition. Yay, I'm an analogy. <laughs> I think there's somewhere within the coding that I can only be careful. So long. Careful. This is a professional chef also, so. Yeah, trust me, he knows his way with knives. Oh, that's true. And as they fly. And also. So this, sir, right over here. This. Is the, the bitch. Oh. This is the bitch this right is, here. Oh, 
That hurt? Fucker. Oh, that, that hurt. No, horrible. No whacking the wife. Come on. Pretend Here's pretend this is All this right, is. Oh, so. so, you know you. Wait, do that again. Close. Notice. Oh, I got a little bit of glare from the sun. Oh, the fire. The real, the There you go. Thickness of my thumb. So I would have to assume that you found something thicker than even that. So yeah. maybe a little thicker than that, but you would go from the base, right? Yeah. So I mean that's about close. And that's you know I would you know back then we'd probably use you know one about this thickness for. GP, you know. Hey, bitch, did you milk the fucking cow this morning? No. Blah! That's one. Now, hey, bitch, you fucked my brother. Well, you go for the big full thickness. Blam! And you uh, give her about 30. I mean, you know, you had to be reasonable, you know. Right. You got to give what they deserve. So, the rule of thumb, people. Forever, you're allowed to beat your bitch, to keep the bitch in line. I don't think we should have ever got rid of that. Because I will tell you something. I competed semi-professionally on a great many mats, where it gave me kind of a weird fucking foot thing where I don't like, yeah. You, know, you fucking have feet flying at you all fucking day. I don't, don't like them no more. Right. But also, semi-professionally competing on mats, on mats I learned that I'd rather be hit by something like this a couple of times. Something like that. Because that fucking hurts. And these big marks! <laughs> I never, never, ever would have laid hands on any woman. Ever. But it happens. Do I regret it? Of course. I used to live, and you can ask the wife, when we dated, by one Metallica lyric. Fuck it all. Fuck it. No regrets. Well, I've got a few now. And I think you're not human if you don't have a few. It's just like nobody getting out of this life alive. No body is perfect. Damn straight. Not even the gods we are! It all comes down to original sin. Which everyone's like, oh, what's the original sin? No, I'm not talking about original sin, as in those people's ideas of it. I'm talking original sin is the freedom of choice. Because we are both good and evil, positive and negative. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. the chaos of our world that creates situational events where a guy like me, who was hyperactive as fuck as a child, and his father was fucking basically jealous of his boy's genius and beat him mercifully, constantly, until my mom fucking divorced him. And then still I got every other weekends with the beatings and a month and a half out of every summer of beating till he started chilling back and he became my creative like putting down the Sunday paper and a box of fucking minute rice and having me deal Grandpa did that to me <sighs> no. and read and memorize and in fucking few chapters or letters of the encyclopedia and give them a synopsis with my synopsis, and I missed anything in it, well, that's when I got the ass kicking. So not only do I get my knees owing for like two hours on minute rush, but fuck up with my victory part. I got my ass beat anyway. So yeah. Original sin, the fuck off freedom of choice. Sometimes we make bad ones, like today, doing this. Sometimes 
Grim Catholic school it. Oh, confessions! It makes us feel better for it. Okay. We're the bad choices, of course. Because the eidetic memory, I have a plethora of spank bank of really good choices. Happy little excursion into the high little gulf that was made millions of years ago at the last ice age. As the fucking glaciers cut through this part of the Midwest, created some halfway decent beauty. Not as hot as playmates, but pretty beautiful. You know what's been great? We ran through here naked on like 10 hits of LSD. There you go. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Oh my god. You see? I am a god. I know. Holy Mud. crap. Look at that. All I have is little hitchhikers. No mud. Look at you, freak boy. You are not Normal. using your godly powers of manifestation. Just Why? I used to, I grew up in, the, in, in a cabin in the woods. Literally. All right, Abe Lincoln. If only I did that back then. I grew up with this swamp in Florida. Wrestling alligators. Oh, you kept one as a pet. You hugged it. You loved it. What did you name him? Oh, I hugged him too tight. I named him George. <laughs> oh, don't say that in today's modern culture. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that from? Of mice and men. Very good. And of, mi of mice and men. Well, Very that good. first, and then Bugs Bunny did it as a split. Oh, yes. Here I am. See, I really, 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 really wanted to wrap this up by doing a fat rail and seeing how, like, actually different I am. Can you? That was the question. On, um, how different I am compared to now to actually on glass, because I mean, all you really see this is as a really great weight loss plan. <laughs> Much better than, uh, you know, the ones of this, you know, 80s and shit, like, you know, slim fast and stuff. <laughs> Which in Tweakerdom, we like to, to call it the slim glass <laughs> weight loss plan. Um, because honestly, what it does come down to is I have an idea that like Portugal and a number of other countries in this world, U.S. just needs to rip the warning labels off of fuck off everything and give us actual freedom. Legalize all drugs. I mean... We've had booters in the fucking White House since fucking goddamn Kennedy. He had, you know, vitamin shots, supposedly. Thank you. Um, and Kennedy, because I'm a bit of a conspiranoiac. Um, he had some really great thoughts. Like, you know, getting rid of the Fed. And going back to, like, a real money exchange. Instead of just making dollars out of donuts and... 
blah, blah, blah. Look, we'll make up a bunch of numbers and hey, we got money. Oh, fuck that shit. You know how Americans make money? And we'll go off a of fucking Trump's all make America great again? Make America instead of drug free. Put America on drugs. Get a lot more done. Especially if you regulate glass. I mean, Indochina does it. Motherfuckers stay up week on end. Painting homes. Crashing out. Doing it all over again. They have their cheeseburger and a nap. You go back to work for seven to nine days. You get a lot of shit done. And you probably make a lot of money. And then the government would make a lot of money. Regulating and controlling the drugs. And actually put PharmaCore to a good use. Just rip off all the warning labels. Be real. I guess at the end of it all, it's like, yeah, I'm a papered, crazy person. I'm bipolar type 2 with rapid cycling mania. I'm ADHD. I have hyper intellect. I have a mild rage disorder. Because I don't deal with stress well. Hence why I don't work. And they papered me out. I said, no, no, no. You're a bad little monkey, nutty. Just smack your cymbals and do your backflips. And entertain, entertain, entertain. And that's what I've done. But when you start getting older and trying to fucking keep up the entertainment value for everybody, it gets tiring, so you shift gears and you start doing glass. You keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And, uh, yeah. I did. And now I'm getting to the end of it all, and I'm probably going to be quitting soon. Because, you know, it's a good idea. Because, you know, since unregulated street glass and shaking bottles, don't know what's in it all the time. You know you can't die in OD on glass. Well, you can give yourself heart failure, because you can only pump so much adrenaline because, you know, for all y'all that are tweakers, when your back starts hurting a lot, take a cheeseburger and a nap. Because what's going on is your pituitary system and your liver and your kidneys are pumping so much adrenaline through your fucking system that you're hurting yourself. Take a cheeseburger and a nap, people, when your back starts really hurting. Stay hydrated, say your prayers, and, you know, like the hoaxer said, take your vitamins, say your prayers, and kiss your mommy goodnight. Because you don't know when you're going to lose your mommy. Fuck you! I am here this day, February 24th, 2020. to release the burdens of my past in ceremonial fire. And may these ashes of letters written to those who must be released. May these ashes reach my ancestors to guide me into this future. For life, Wagner, Eric, my forefathers and mothers, I take this offering of these burdens I've held far too long. And all these ashes of note and letter of my hand. Release me of the burdens of this life. I 
Punch your balls. Show me love. For those that know like us, so very few left. Goodbye, Crow. Goodbye, Jessica Mary. I'm sorry. As above, so below.